If someone were to ask me what is the most frequently seen ghost in Pelsall, I would have to say the monk. The following stories are just three instances of sightings of Pelsall's ghostly monk. Perhaps you have seen him too. In March 2019, I received an email from John Chance which read, I have actually encountered the monk on the 12th of November 2007 between 10.30pm and 11pm. I was heading towards the Red Cow. It was a cold, foggy night and we just passed the Queen's public house when all of a sudden a very tall cloaked figure floated out of the fog and onto the pavement and stood right at the side of us and watched the car I was travelling in go past. The cloaked figure put John in mind of a very early monk, or a priest, maybe from the 1800s or earlier. John said that it really shook him up and he asked his friend to stop the car. He then got out of the car and went after the figure to see who it was, but he couldn't find him. John had read a couple of other people's accounts of having similar experiences around Pelsall Common too. Hence, you may be able to relate to this story. When John Chance related his story to me, I instantly recalled a similar event which was once brought to my attention by a psychic medium, Steve Tidman. Steve Tidman used to join me on my ghost walks and once mentioned to me that when he was a PCSO, he and his colleague were called out to investigate someone strange who had been loitering on the common opposite to the old bush public house. When the two pulled up in the car and parked up, they could see what they took to be a large man dressed in black in the distance, and so the pair headed towards him. As they drew closer to the dark figure, it simply disappeared. After watching my Mouse Hill ghost walk on the Pelsall Times website, Mark P. wrote to me, my dad used to tell me and my sister about the ghost his mate, Johnny Fallon, saw at the bottom of Mouse Hill, bombing down the hill on his motorbike back in the 1950s and seeing the monk floating across the road. Johnny ended up in the field opposite the junction. Every time we passed it, Dad would always tell us the story. These three accounts are probably not the only sightings of Pelsall's ghostly monk. According to my research, there has never been a monastery in Pelsall. Hence, there is no reason why we should have a ghostly monk. However, there is every reason why we should have a ghostly priest, certainly crossing the common and the bottom of Mouse Hill. On the 14th of November, 1872, Pelsall Village experienced the worst mining disaster in the history of the South Staffordshire coalfields, in which 22 miners died either of drowning or poisonous gases. Eventually, 21 dead miners were retrieved, but one man was never identified or found. To this day, it is said that he haunts certain properties in Pelsall on the anniversary of Pelsall Hall Colliery disaster. But I will tell you about that some other time. As news travelled fast about the disaster in 1872, thousands of people descended on Pelsall via the railway, which was situated on Station Road, Pelsall. Firstly, they came to see what was going on, trudging Pelsall Common from the railway past the church and up Hall Lane to the top of Mouse Hill. Then, with a morbid curiosity, people came to Pelsall to see the dead bodies of the miners which were laid out in their coffins in the long room behind the station inn. So popular was this spectacle that the railway company had to put on more trains to accommodate the volume of visitors to Pelsall. When the disaster first occurred, Reverend Selwyn, the Bishop of Lichfield, who was a great friend of the parish, came to Pelsall immediately. On his arrival, he emptied his pockets into the contribution boxes, leaving himself no money to return home. He then set to comforting wives and mothers around the pit bank and said prayers. I wondered if on that day John Chance had seen the ghost of Reverend Selwyn as at the time of the disaster, an intensely traumatic time, Reverend Selwyn would definitely have been seen crossing the common at the point where John saw him. 
Since the area once occupied by Pelsall Hall Colliery would have been so large in 1872, where the monk was spotted by Johnny Fallon would at that time have been colliery grounds. If you too have ever witnessed the ghostly monk and you would like to share your experience, please get in touch.